First up, cement manufacturers say they'll be forced to lay off some workers and cut down on the operations if the le new legislative instrument seeking to control prices of their products is passed by Parliament. The Minister of Trade and Industry, Katie Amon, this week laid the ally in Parliament. Now, speaking on PM Express Business Edition, the Chief Executive of the Chamber of Cement Manufacturers, Dr. Dawson Amwa, warned that the ally could result in product shortages on the market. If you force a producer to, you know, sell at this price, and it's not profitable, there's market distortion. He would not produce. And if he doesn't produce, then shortage. It's going to be ready for shortage. That, that is something that is going to happen? Yes, yeah, something that's going to happen. And it's going to have invest, investor deterrent that, you know, cement factory is capital intensive. We work there. I have worked there for 28 years. Capital intensive. And always you need to resource capital. So it's like now if you're going to force me to sell at this price and it's not profitable, investment will be curtailed. Now, you should not forget, we have workers that have been employed. If a price is quoted for me to sell and it's not profitable, Doc, I know. Meanwhile, the Director General of Afghanistan's Authority, Professor Alex Zodu, says portions of the regulation have been amended. Key among them um, is jail terms proposed for directors of firms uh, who fail to comply with the law. At the launch of the committee, Honorable Katie Amun asked for voluntary disclosure. Mm. I wrote it in my book and showed it to the members. At our first meeting, second meeting, third meeting, then the Honorable Minister... Prof, we understand all this. The now Honorable there's Minister, an ally. They are pleading to engage you. What will change? Will Can change? anything will change? change? I told them on Tuesday, and I'll repeat, every one of the concerns they raised to the original version of the ally has been cleared. Mm. So then currently... Then we, draw, then we draw the ally. No. So currently, the version of the ally you have just deals with the disclosure. Very many people either have chosen not to have seen the current version. So I ask a question. I challenge the industry to tell me any portion of the current version of the airline which only demands transparency to come out and say that this specific portion mm -hmm. is inimical mm -hmm. to the growth of industry or to the reputation of our country as an investing, investment destination. Mm -hmm. It's such a mature airline that what they are doing is to make comments relating to the original version to the extent that the minister listened and substantially amended the original version mm. at the pre-laying stage. And listening to the concerns and the fury means that the Honorable Katie Amon, in his own way, has listened to the views. And I can assure you, the minority who are on the subsidiary legislative group mm -hmm. will tell you that it was a very heated meeting, but we arrived at the views.